reproduction in morcella in this a lecture we are going to study about the sexual reproduction in morcella let us start reproduction a sexual reproduction is not known in morcella it reproduces only by sexual method and sex organs are not formed in morcella then how does it reproduce it reproduces by the process of plasmogamy and karyogamy sexual reproduction occur by following step the first step is the plasmogamy means the fusion of the protoplast of two cells and then karyogamy means the two nuclei fuse let us study in detail plasmogamy in plasmogamy the protoplast of two fusing cells mix with each other and all nuclei are transferred to one cell these nuclei do not fuse and they pair to form a dikaryon thus establishes dikaryophase now there are two ways by which plasmogamy occur first one is the somatogamy and the second one is the autogamy in somatogamy there is a fusion of two somatic cells of different hyphae while in autogamy there is fusion uh, there is pairing of two nuclei there is a pairing of two nuclei of same cell the next step is the karyogamy in karyo karyon karyon means nucleus gamy means fusion thus in karyogamy the two nuclei of the dikaryon which is present in ascus mother cell they fuse to form a diploid nucleus and this diploid nucleus is known as synkaryon thus in sexual reproduction in morcella two stages plays a very important role the first stage is the plasmogamy and the second important stage is the karyogamy in plasmogamy there is a pairing of nuclei and they pair to form dikaryon and there there are two method by which pairing of nuclei occur first one is the somatogamy means fusion of two somatic cells and in autogamy there is a pairing of two nuclei of the same cell let us study this plasmogamy in detail stages in somatogamy first we will study the somatogamy in somatogamy as we see that in somatogamy there is a pairing of nuclei of two different hyphae thus there are two different hyphae hyphae a and hyphae b the two somatic hyphae of the subhymenium region a and b come in contact with each other these somatic hyphae comes in contact with each other as they comes in contact with each other the intervening walls between these two hyphae gets dissolved and the protoplast of both the cells mix freely now next step is the two nuclei one from each cell pair to form a dikaryon here the dikaryon is formed now the remaining nuclei except the dikaryon degenerate this thus the dikaryon stage gets established and in this cells only the dikaryon nucleus exist and remaining nuclei degenerate this dikaryotic cells give rise to many ascogenous hyphae and the tip of this ascogenous hyphae function as ascus mother cell these are the steps in somatogamy where is in autogamy auto means self in autogamy 
the dikaryon is formed by pairing of two nuclei of the same cell same somatic cell and the remaining nuclei degenerate now this cell contains only the dikaryon the dikaryotic cell give rise to many ascogenous hyphae these are the ascogenous hyphae and the terminal cell of the ascogenous hyphae function as ascus mother cell formation of ascus and ascospore as we have studied that the plasmogamy occur by two ways somatogamy and autogamy and through the somatogamy or autogamy the dikaryon phase gets established and ascogenous hyphae arises from the dikaryon cell and the terminal cell of the ascogenous hyphae function as ascus mother cell now in ascus mother cell this ascus mother cell elongates to form a cylindrical structure and this ascus mother cell now function as ascus the two nuclei or dikaryon present in ascus mother cell fuse to form a diploid nucleus which is known as syncaryon and this syncaryon nucleus now undergoes meiotic division to form four nuclei meiotic division four nucleus gets produced and these four nuclei again divide by mitotic division to form eight nuclei and these nuclei arrange in a row these eight haploid nuclei secrete a thin wall around themselves and develops into an ascospore these ascospores are released from the ascus by the removal of the apical lid they are disseminated away by wind and they germinate on suitable substratum with the help of germ tube and produce new mycelium thus in this way in morcella sexual reproduction occur and the sexual reproduction occur by the way of plasmogamy and karyogamy morcella life cycle as we have studied that in morcella the plasmogamy occur by two ways autogamous pairing or somatogamous copulation or somatogamy and by these two ways dikaryon phase get established means a dikaryon nucleus uh, or two nuclei present in a single cell this stage is known as dikaryon stage or process is known as dikaryotization from this dikaryon cell ascogenous hyphae arises and the terminal cell of the ascogenous hyphae function as ascus mother cell in ascus mother cell karyogamy occur karyogamy means fusion of the two dikaryon nucleus occur as a result syncaryon is formed and now the ascus mother cell after the karyogamy the ascus mother cell elongates to become an ascus in ascus meiosis meiosis occur and as a result of meiosis four ascus four nuclei are formed and these four nuclei again divide mitotically to form eight ascospores these ascospores are then liberated by wind and they germinate on suitable substratum to form new mycelium of morcella for further readings i would like to suggest a textbook of botany by singh pandey jain thank you for watching